In this video, I'll show you how to track down specific Old Testament sacrifices, then organize them by type, occasion, contents, or by who's making the sacrifice. In Luke 2, 22-24, we read that at the time of purification, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to Jerusalem to present Him to the Lord and offer a sacrifice according to the law. If you're not familiar with this purification law, you can quickly track down the details using the new Israelite Feast and Sacrifices Interactive. First, go to the Tools menu and click to open the link to view all of your interactives. Then in the new panel, scroll down and open the Israelite Feast and Sacrifices Interactive. With this new tool, we can find sacrifices mentioned in the Bible by type, occasion, content, or by who's making the sacrifice. Right now, I'm looking at all the sacrifices mentioned in the Bible, but from the options to the left, I'm going to narrow my results first by purification, like we just read in the Gospel of Luke. When I click this option under the subheading Purpose, Logos removes all of the sacrifices on my screen except those dealing with purification. You'll notice that each one of the sacrifices on my screen lists purification in the column labeled Purpose. Plus, for each sacrifice, Logos tells me where it's mentioned, who's offering the sacrifice, the occasion, the type, and the contents. Now, thinking back to the Gospel of Luke, remember that Mary and Joseph offered a purification sacrifice because of the birth of their child, Jesus. So going back to the left, I'll expand the list of occasions. Then scroll down and select birth of a child. This action surfaces only one law, but it's the one we're looking for. According to Leviticus 12, 1 through 8, an Israelite woman was declared unclean after giving birth. Following the birth of a son, the mother was unclean for an entire week, then remained at a secondary level of impurity for 33 days. Following this, she was to present a burnt offering of a lamb and a pigeon or dove for a sin offering. If she was poor like Mary, she would offer two turtle doves or two pigeons, one as a burnt offering and one as a sin offering. After this, she was declared clean. And as you can see on the chart, Logos presents us with a synopsis of this text in organized columns. The information given here clues us in on Mary and Joseph's economic status, and although they were poor, they were obedient to their God. And in just a matter of moments, we were able to weed through all of the biblical laws and find the one referred to here in Luke chapter 2. To get started using Logos, go to logos.com slash 6.